Yes. Okay, Mr. Price, welcome. Let's begin by having you introduce yourself. Okay. My name is Kevin Price. I am a proud 14 year educator in the Aldean District. I'm a single parent. My daughter is a student at Oklahoma State University. And uh, I am a youth minister at Body of Christ Fellowship Church. I've been past youth minister at Mount Arab Baptist Church. That's also in this community. So. That's wonderful. How did you come to live in the Aldean area? And I'm originally from Richmond, Virginia. Okay. And uh, my father worked for, he's retired now, he worked for Texaco Oil Company. And Texaco Oil Company shut down in Richmond, Virginia. And said that, that each one of them would have the opportunity to relocate to New Jersey, mm -hmm. Texas, or California. And my dad said New Jersey is too close to Richmond in the atmosphere that we were already in. Mm -hmm. And he used it as an opportunity to take his family and get them a little farther away so that he won't lose the nucleus of the family. And so he chose Texas, not having any relatives. And in 1978, we came to Texas and uh, shot well in Aldean ISD was the first school I went to. My brother went to Aldean and my other two twin brothers went to Drew. So we came in as Texas uh, transplanted students uh -huh. into the Aldean school system. That's great. And how long, so you've been here since 78, right? Correct. Okay. Um, what do you like about the Aldean area? When I first moved to the Aldean area, it was almost like Christmas Day, coming from where I came from. Yeah. And uh, we were, were present in an apartment complex, and this was our first home. And I'll never forget when Dad told us we had a house. You know, it was, it was greater than Christmas. Then we, when we came into Fallbrook neighborhood, right mm -hmm. at West Road and, and a Veteran Memorial, yeah. and you didn't see any cars on the street. It was just one car per house. Trees were uh, uh, edged up, and yeah. it was something different than what we saw. And we couldn't wait to get out the car to get in, in uh, into the house. Wow. And we couldn't wait to ride around the community because, like I said, it was uh, 1978 when we first came here. Mm -hmm. the, the, even the news stopped at West Road location. Whenever you heard anything about the news, yeah. it would stop at West Road. It wasn't developed in 1968. Yeah. And so it was just a, a beautiful thing. The thing that I liked about, and I still like about all the community, is I do a lot of traveling all over the city and all over the state and, and, and international. But I always come back home to the Aldean District. And I, mm -hmm. I would always tell people, I, I sleep in all the District. <laughs> when I woke up all over, but I come back. The thing I like about it is the people. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the atmosphere. You see community parks, you see. I remember when we first got here, I think Dawes Park had just opened up a couple oh. of years before we got here. Wow. And I was an avid person walking from Fargo to Dawes Park to play basketball. Mm -hmm. And if that park had not have been here, maybe my life would have been different because it provided me a place to get away in a safe zone not playing in a community where you could probably have an opportunity to tear up. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I'm grateful that the parks were in the area. Greens Point Mall was like Christmas Day to us <laughs> because no, the mall was so far away from where I lived at. Uh -huh. Now I'm one exit. You know, <laughs> at 13 years old, now you start to have a little freedom. And, and instead of receiving this freedom in a small little city, yeah. I received this opportunity in the fourth largest city. Yeah. And so I think that had a lot coming up in this great Greens Point area on my success in my life. That's great. That's wonderful. Is there anything you can um, mention perhaps that you dislike about the area? What I dislike about my area of what, coming on 30 year anniversary uh, in, in August this year, what I dislike is what the mindset that has changed in individuals, especially our younger individuals. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that, the mindset that's coming on TV, the mindset that government and radio and TV, newspaper, magazine, the mindset that it puts in individuals mm -hmm. will uh, decide how they carry themselves. And so when I see somebody spray paint a fence in a neighborhood, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, man, he doesn't know how much it's gonna cost that person to replace that fence. Mm -hmm. And it also showed it your lack of home training. That that kid doesn't understand, somebody's talking about you because you did that. 
Mm-hmm. And so when I see stuff like that starting to take place, mm-hmm. it makes me sad. I don't know if you remember back in the 70s, that Indian that was crying when somebody uh, threw trash on the ground. It was black and white mm-hmm. commercial, and that Indian was crying. It was one of the most popular commercials in the United States. Mm-hmm. And I always keep telling people, that's how I feel about Houston. That's how I feel about Great Greensboro. Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. Um, what would you like to tell future residents about Aldine? And what would I like to tell future re- residents about Aldine is, number one, anybody that want, that's thinking about coming to the Aldine district and the Aldine community, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a gold mine. And what I mean by that is just like finding a four-leaf club. You can look all day and that's what people are looking for. You're looking for a successful school district. You're looking for a safe place. And Aldean is one of the few communities that has went up, seen some trouble times, and going back up. And some communities die. My, my master's degree is in community development. And so my hat's off to see the redevelopment that Aldean did to bring this thing, to find out what's going on and change it, to keep on to be a prosper. And to see someone come in here, you want them to know about our successful education. You want them to know about what the future is for Greensport mm-hmm. and it's parallel to what's happening off of uh, West Ham and Richmond because the money is coming straight through the continental airport going over there and Greater Greenspoint has decided let's stop that and keep this money in the Greater Greenspoint area. Yes. And so for anybody, whether it's a business or residence, knowing how much it costs to live in the other four major cities in front of us, mm-hmm. this is a gold mine. Even if you move to Dallas, I lived in Dallas and Irving. Mm-hmm. And it was twice as much as Houston, yeah. you know, just an apartment complex. So the city right now is dollar bill being tightened. You've got to get as much as you can for that dollar bill, which means that mm-hmm. Houston and Aldean is a wonderful chance for you to have, uh, to be able to work here. That's a wonderful chance to be able to work in this area. It'd be just 16 minutes right outside of downtown Houston. But in a sub a community, it's got everything you need so you don't have to go to downtown Houston. Yes. Everything is 16 to 20 minutes from if you don't need, if you, if it's, if you have to leave outside of this area. That's great. That's wonderful. Um, have you seen in, in your mind a, like a, a change in the community in, the, in recent years? I arrived here in 78. I graduated in 83 to my at- attention. Everything was still on track. Mm-hmm. Uh, in 88, my daughter was born, and I, she also came through some of the all schools. Mm-hmm. Then I started seeing a little change, mm-hmm. change in the, the type of student that was coming into the all area. Yeah. And that student goes to school and live in this community. And so they have a tendency to make or break a community. Mm-hmm. And it's not just the student, it's what's being put in today's kid. Today's kid has to live somewhere. Mm-hmm. And so it's, whatever happens in all these is going to happen in other communities too. It's mm-hmm. just up to you whether your community is going to decide that we still want it to be nice. And all yeah. they just has decided. But I saw the same uh, wear and tear on our community over 20 years. Each community has a lifespan of 15, 30 years, depending yeah. on whether you decide to put a system in place to to stop it and let it go into another level. <laughs> and if all these has went through it and survived it, yeah. you know, and not only did it survive, we put a system in place for future. And when you go over here and see the Great Greenspoint Park, that yeah. they put in place the apartment complexes, <laughs> the oil companies that sit inside Great Greenspoint that many people don't even know about. Yeah. How many yeah. oil companies sit in our community? Sure. And the technology system is right at the Beltway. And mm-hmm. 45, a lot of people don't know that technology system over there runs much of the United States, right from Red Greenspoon. That's right. That's true. Mr. Price, that's all I have. Okay. For you.